What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So first things first, I got bangs. I'm still getting used to them. I literally got my hair done yesterday. I feel like that's why I've been a little bit delayed this week of producing a video and uploading because I feel like we're all in the same boat. I've just been going out and getting things done and like my nails done and all of that good stuff, my hair done. And I just wanted to try something a little bit different. I know we did love the short hair, but I got my extensions back in. I think I would have posted all the details up on my Instagram by now. And I just got some bangs for summer. I just thought, I don't know. I just love the look of them. I'm still getting used to them. I have absolutely no idea how I style them. So if they just look a little bit bizarre right now, please bear with me, like I said. I'm getting used to them. If you have bangs, let me know the best way that you style them in the comment section down below. I really hope you guys like it. But this video is absolutely necessary. And I've seen so many of you request this sort of video from me, essentially just like a styling video or outfits ideas. Now if we're in the UK, you know we can go out to restaurants now, like obviously outside and bars and stuff. And I feel like we should have been preparing outfits this whole time and I feel like maybe some of you guys have been planning outfits. I thought I'd been planning outfits. I definitely feel like I've been online shopping and now it's like, oh my God, I suddenly forgot what I even bought and I, and I need to start putting outfits together. Um, I actually do have a bottomless brunch next week. So I was actually putting outfits together and I was like, oh, you know what, this would actually be like a good video if you guys are doing any bottomless brunches or like dinners or anything. This is just a few outfit ideas and inspo. I will of course leave everything linked and listed down below for you guys. I want you guys to tell me in the comment sections which one you think I should wear. It's a, yeah, like I said, I'm going to bottomless brunch. I feel like I wanna dress up like a little bit. I think the weather's meant to be quite nice. I'm bending down because I'm in outfit number one right now. Um, so I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. But yeah, let me know which is your favorite down below and which one you think I should wear because I've kind of gone for a little bit of variety. Like most of it is like smart, casual. Some I feel like I could interchange with like different accessories or shoes. So shout me your thoughts in the comment section. But yeah, I thought this would be a fun video, give you guys some inspo and then you guys can also help me out. So if you're liking the sound of this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and without further ado, I'm going to jump into the outfits. I'm going to try and show you the best that I can, but I feel like I'm going to take inspo from whenever I watch Sarah Ashcroft's like styling videos. She kind of holds things up and then inserts like a full picture of her wearing it so you can see. So if I'm struggling to show some bits, I will do that. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video and let me show you these outfits. Okay, so I feel like this one is a kind of a little bit booby, by the way. I'm wearing the, oh, I don't, <laughs> I'm literally treating this as if you guys are my friends, like all my clothes are just like sprawled out on my bed right now. But I feel like this is a little bit booby. Um, I would definitely wear like a black, you can see it's like bright pink under there, like a bralette underneath this, but I've just got the pink one on for the purpose of another outfit that I was gonna wear. How cute is this? I was feeling like, this is definitely, I feel like more of the smarter vibe. I say that with literally my full on chest out, but I love this cropped blazer. I was thinking with like black, like sandal heel vibe. And I thought my hair up in this ponytail was really cute. This is the most, like how good do my boobs look? Sorry, but they do. They're sitting well. And this brala is from Boohoo and it's so good. I bought it with um, matching trousers. I think I actually wore it on my Instagram once in a full suit. I got it in gray as well. I think that might be the one I put on my Instagram. I'll insert a picture of it here, if so. But this cropped blazer is Miss Pap Tia Linica. I think it came with a skirt, but I, the skirt didn't fit me right. But I thought this blazer, I didn't think I could get away with wearing something like this. I don't know, I don't really have like a really like cinched waist, but I suppose like my waist probably is the smallest part of me. And I feel like this actually gives me like a bit of a waist vibes, I don't know. But yeah, like I said, this bralette is like thick strapped. If you've got a bigger chest like me, like, you can wear a bra or like bralette underneath. I've actually got a bralette underneath for like extra support. I feel really held in place. I just thought this would be cute with like some black, you know, strappy sandal heels. I will of course insert a full like outfit pitch there so you can see it all together. I have tried to include heels that I know are really comfortable. And I feel like these sandaly ones at the moment are the most comfortable because they're not that high. And a lot of them are like really cushioned, so I love that. These jeans are from PLT. Um, they're gonna be the jeans that are just featured throughout this video whenever I wear anything with jeans. I think I've got one more outfit with jeans, which I'll put on next. But I thought this is cute. The blazer kind of dresses it up a bit. We've got the girls out to be a little bit playful because now we're going out, we can actually meet some people. 
And yeah, just some cute black sandals. But yeah, the blazer kind of formalizes it a little bit, but I feel like this is probably, well, actually I was gonna say the, the most formal out of all of it. But yeah, this is option number one, which I love, but, and I quite like my hair up with the bangs with this but totally have it down or maybe even like in a messy bun. I've just paired it as well with like chunky gold jewelry, but I've got like some thin gold hoops. Yeah, so this is option number one. Let me know what you think. Okay, this next outfit is definitely more for my comfort queens and I still really like it. I feel like it's, I don't know, it's cool. It's kind of edgy, very on trend. Um, So it's this like coll collision, collusion t-shirt. Um, Again, with the same pair of jeans, I actually love how oversized this is. It covers the arms. It's kind of giving me vintage vibes with the text. Um, and I thought, add a pop of color. These are, these little like heels are from Aldo. I got them on ASOS. Um, I just thought, also changed it out to a bigger hoop. I think I actually got these because uh, I was, you know, I was wearing thin hoops in the previous one. They were just slightly smaller. I got them in a pack of three, I think. So you could definitely go with like the chunky gold vibes for this outfit to kind of tie in with the vintage. But I just, yeah, got the same necklaces on, chunky gold jewelry, jeans. And like, I don't know, I just thought this was like a cute vibe. It's casual, but we're dressing it up with the heel. I feel like this kind of like pop of color, especially in shoes. I feel like bright colored shoes at the moment are just such a vibe. Like I said, very, I'm very comfortable in this. The like over slight, why can't I speak? The oversized sleeve is still gonna keep me warm. I feel like you could probably put a jacket over this as well, maybe like a bomber or something. But I feel like this sleeve is like a nice transitional outfit. Don't need to wear a jacket. I'm still gonna be like relatively warm. Um, yeah, love this, this vibe. And I've got the hair down, but I feel like this would look super cute with like a messy bun and like two little fringy bits coming down. Yeah, like I said, maybe even a chunky gold earring, but um, love. Love this vibe. I actually think I might wear this. Me, Hannah and Mads are going uh, going out for drinks next week. And I feel like I might wear this because it's kind of like a casual place. And I feel like heels like this that just like aren't very high. I don't know, they're still really casual, but they're really cute. And yeah, I just thought this was a cute, cute vibe. Maybe you could switch the jeans out to trousers, but I feel like, I don't know, the jeans kind of add to like the retro vintage vibe from the, from the text. And I just kind of love how this like all ties together. Obviously I will add in a picture so you can get the full effect. Um, yeah, also by the way, you can kind of see like my hair in full effect here. I fucking love it. But yeah, I actually really love this outfit. I feel like, I'm sorry, the lighting is just kind of slightly differing. The sun is coming down and I've got my light here, but I'm trying to make this work. Let me just tighten this a little bit. Okay, hear me out with this one. I feel like now I've put it on, it's not really translated the way that I wanted it to. But there is a reason behind this. Okay, so it's like this shirt with this denim score. I wonder if you guys can guess. And like, I've just paired it with like pink accessories. I've still got like my big, you know, chunky gold hoops in and stuff. The reason for this, and maybe I should have just left it to Rihanna, but I saw this pic of Rihanna and she just looks insane. Bearing in mind, yes, she is probably in like, I don't know where that picture was taken, like Los Angeles or maybe Barbados where she's from or something. And it is very warm there and like summery and maybe that is just an outfit that Rihanna can pull off and I can't. But I don't know, I just thought this was like a slightly different kind of vibe. And I'm kind of living, you can tell I'm kind of living for the slouchy oversized shirt but is this just like a shit shirt because hers is celine okay so maybe that's why she got away with it but i thought you know i'll do some rihanna inspo you guys probably might hate this i'm not 100 percent sure on it just let me know how you feel in the comment section down below i know i just i just saw that picture of her and i was like that's a vibe that i love and this skirt it's a skirt by the way like their shorts at the back it's from bershka best score ever it like crosses around the front so so flattering i feel like i've got like a bright pink bralette on underneath it's the one that i wore so i thought like i could almost wear this as like underwear as outerwear type vibe this um score like does like have this random cut off here like i don't know covered it with the shirt anyway but yeah i just thought with like pink accessories like i said i'll insert the pic of me like in full there 
These are the Ego Molly May collab. No idea if they're still available. I, I love them though, and I love this color. So I'll do my best to find them, or if not, I'll link something similar. This bag is just from ASOS, like goes perfectly. This shirt is actually Boohoo Man. Um, it's like one of the, yeah, men's shirt. It was, the, it was the most similar one that I found to the Celine one. Number one, without actually like buying the Celine one. And two, that was actually like, I thought this was like a nice print ish. It was the nicest print and the nicest colorways as well. Cause I've got a turquoise bag that would go with this, but I kind of really wanted to emphasize on the pink. But like pink is really, really in this spring. And yeah, like I said, the score is from Bershka. Like I said, I would have insert, I feel like I shop every time I say, like I said, but I'll insert like a full pick. I feel like you could go kind of like really like accessorize with this and get maybe like some chains on or something. I know Rihanna's got like sunglasses on in hers, but this is just kind of like, I don't know, more fun bottomless brunch vibes. I feel like in Manchester, you can get away with this. If I was to wear this to like, not that there even is like bottomless brunches in Surrey, or well, maybe there is. Well, not in Guildford where I was from. Like I could not wear this in Guildford. But this is definitely a like London or Manchester vibe where people don't give a fuck about like what you wear and actually it's kind of like the brighter the better. I don't know, this was just like more of a fun, playful kind of option for maybe more of my like slightly more, I don't know. I don't even know if this is nice, okay? I'm not even sure. Maybe a different score, I don't know, like a slightly darker denim might tie in with the shirt a little bit more. I don't know, I wanted to throw in some options. Let me know what you think. I just took some inspo from Riri and, cause I loved that outfit and that picture. Let me know how I did. And if this is actually kind of a vibe or if it's like Rachel just, <laughs> just leave it to Rihanna. Right, so this one is a little bit more risque and actually slightly, ooh, sorry. Slightly more formal in the sense that I'm wearing like flowy trousers. And again, it's also risky because it's cream. And I feel like bottomless brunches are just messy, but this top needed a moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I'm gonna do my best and I'm fingers crossing that this is still in stock. It's from Pretty Little Thing. I'm so glad like brands have caught on that like these tops are so flattering on like all boobs and that's why they've been so popular um, because they used to like do them in like fitted satin and that, that's just not gonna work for me like i need stretch and this one just fits like an absolute dream i thought they would look cute with these heels they are also i think um ego and molly may uh, i got them on asos though and these chunky gold hoops but yes i think the trousers are actually plt they are um just white cream like linen flowy trousers i just thought this was gorgeous especially with the chunky gold hoops this is actually just dinner date vibes yeah i feel like this is more dinner date vibes i th i could definitely bottomless brunch in this don't get me wrong but this is just a cute date outfit do you know what i actually think is missing a belt a belt but what kind of belt maybe cream like cream with a gold something in the middle but yeah i just thought you can never go wrong with it well you can go very wrong Actually, I don't know why I said that, but I feel like just in terms of like looking good, you can never go wrong with like an all white ensemble. I just think it looks so chic and I just love the way everything fits, like the flowy trousers and stuff. Like obviously I'll insert the full picture and I love these shoes. These are not coming off your feet. You are strapped in with these, which I think I love. Like there's nothing worse than like, if you're a bit tipsy and your shoes are loose and it just makes it that much more difficult to walk than it already is. And I feel like this just makes my hair pop as well. You know? Um, so yeah, I love this. The girls are sitting right. Super comfortable, all white fit. Let me know, but I'm gonna now move on to the final option, which is the only one I've personally styled without heels. Um, I think you could, yeah, mix and match with either of these, but this is an option without heels. Okay, so this last one actually kind of might be my favorite. I feel like this is such a vibe. Maybe if you're not gonna be eating a lot because it's a dress, as I'll show you in a sec. Hear me out with it. Okay, so this is the dress. Oh my God, also I'm really not wearing the right underwear. I've just tried to put some like Spanx type vibes underneath this, like over the top of the pants that I was already wearing. This is a very like, seamless underwear dress or maybe don't even wear underwear at all but like make sure it's seamless okay but also sorry i'll show you in a sec if you have this dress from bershka can you tell me where these bits of string are meant to go i've just tied them up behind my back because it 
it's the only way it kind of looks normal. Anyway, this is the dress. So it's actually like a maxi slash midi dress. Um, like I said, please ignore my pants. A maxi slash midi dress. I've kept the chunky gold hoops in because I thought, to be fair, I was going to pair it with a different jacket, which I love and I know you guys would love. But I have just checked and it's out of stock, so I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to do it to you guys because that's just not fair. But I thought with this, like, I just really want to wear something like super, maybe not this oversized, like an oversized denim jacket and just like some trainers. Like these are just some white Air Forces, like that kind of vibe. So like, yes, you are dressing up in the dress, slouchy jacket for comfort. Maybe not this exact one. I literally just grabbed like, I don't know, a slouchy oversized denim jacket. This one's from Miss Pat. It's like super like super oversized um yeah this dress is from bershka i love it and yeah like it's just some nike just some like nike air force so sorry i'm trying to like make sure you can't see my pants i'll insert a picture here so you guys can get the full vibe but i kind of like this vibe it's like it's dressy dressing it down with some trainers i'm really comfortable in it but like i said maybe if you're not if you're eating a lot this isn't the best because it is like a skin tight dress that definitely like I'm wearing like Spanx type vibes under this. So yeah, I like this one. Yeah, a little bit more casual or again, even if it's not just for bottomless brunch, this is a cute like day, like day date outfit, like going for it, like walking around or just like at a cute little like bar having some food. Yeah, I love this one and I love the like chunky, chunky gold and denim. I feel like I'm really playing on like the retro vibe and I love that kind of vibe. Um, and this halter neck is so flattering if you have a bigger chest. The girls are also supported and out, but not too much out. I don't know, again, a little bit risky with the white, but I really love this outfit. Oh my God, the lighting is just gone tits up. So that was the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite outfit down below and which one I should wear to brunch or if I should like switch things up or just like which is your favorite, let me know. I would have done my best to link everything in the description if you guys are interested as well. If things are out of stock, I will try, I'll again do my best to leave something similar. Let me know if you like these kind of videos and I'll make sure to, you know, keep doing them in the future. I just know if you're in the UK, things have opened up again and I definitely need some outfit inspo. So I really hope you guys liked something within this video. As for like my nails and my hair and all of that details, I I'm going to be posting a vlog, kind of like my transformation week um, vlog because I am actually, well, the day this is going up, I'm going to be getting my lashes done too. Got a pedicure as well. Um, I love just letting you guys know all my favorite beauty plugs and I love these kind of glow up vlogs as well. So I've got one of those coming on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, all the details about my hair and all of that good stuff. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.